Andy Mendoza here with Lynchburg head coach Steve Kadelka and coach. Uh, congrats on the big win today. You. Uh, you guys got off to a quick start, four nothing early in the first period. What do you credit that to? Our guys are ready to play. You know, I mean, um, this is this, this. We did back to back games last weekend, so um, and we came out flying last Sunday. So, you know, our guys played their hearts out yesterday, and unfortunately came up short against a great RIT team. And I think they were. You know, this morning at, at our pregame meetings and things like that, it looked like they were chomping and, and ready to go today. Well, uh, it definitely showed, and face-offs in that first half dominated by your guys. Uh, what do you credit that to? You know, our, our Bo Delaney and, and, and Craig Kester, our two main face-off guys, and, and are, are have done a great job this year. I mean, they've uh, we've gotten better. I mean, we're we're at numbers that we were not at last year with the same two kids, and the, to their credit, they've worked extremely hard and. Um, you know, we knew that, you know, the RIT kid would be great yesterday and the Nazareth kid would be really good today. And, you know, uh, to their credit, they, 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 they gave us the ball a lot today early on, which was really key to the game. And it seemed like your guys had an answer for every kind of response that yeah. Nazareth had. Uh, never really let them get within two goals, but every time they got within two goals, your guys has responded very quickly. Uh, what can you say about well, that? Well, you know, I think I said to the halftime, I told them, um, you know, the one thing I did say to them was, like, great teams find a way to kind of answer the bell. And, and I thought we did on a face-off kind of fast break goal right after they cut it to a couple. And then and then scoring the goal right before halftime was pretty big. So, you know, those are plays that, that championship-level teams make. And it was nice that we finally made some of those because we've had several teams do those against us this year. Um, but it was really great to see our kids do that. You guys had uh, five – and you guys gave up, I should say, five advantage, uh, five man up advantages, and you did have ten turnovers. So how do you kind of clean that up moving forward? Well, you know, we we were we gave up five man downs, um, but didn't give enemy goals. And so I think um, I'll, I'll harp on that. Um, yeah. You know, turnovers are part of our game. We know that. And and you know, I don't. Do we deserve to be man down five times? That's probably debatable. Um, but um, you know, I, I thought our guys. I mean, for not having really any preparation and just really film work this morning. I thought our guys handled that and just stuck to the core principles of our man down. And, and Coach Lombardo does a great job with those guys, and it was, it was awesome to see them prevail. And how do you guys take the momentum from this weekend, playing well yesterday, getting the win today, and, and move it forward for the rest of the yeah, season? You know, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, first and foremost, we have a great group of kids, and um, they've been working their tails off all year, you know. And, uh, you know, we've been, we, we put them in a gauntlet. I mean, the teams that they've played have been some of the best teams in the country, and, and they know that, and they've just kept on coming coming to the to the field every day and trying to get better and lifting and doing all the things we asked them to do and and then they're doing more on their own so they're 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 eager for this I mean they you know they work really hard for this weekend and we really thought we could go two and oh this weekend we came up a couple goals short against RIT but um you know now we kind of move into ODAC play which is you know going to be uh, a big for us you know we, we have a we have a really good opponent coming to our place we get to play home next weekend and you know we'll hopefully have another great week of practice and get ready for that congrats on the win coach good luck the rest of the way thank you very much for more coverage of the Mustang Classic, you can go to GoMustangSports.com.